Oof, that was rough last night. Fox woke the whole house up at four in the morning. And, okay, maybe just me, just woke me up. So extra, extra coffee. Um, having a little playtime with Bob this morning and Sal. We're doing some crafts. Um, we got the Kiwi Co subscription. I don't know if you guys have ever tried them. We've actually never done like a craft or toy subscription before, but these are really cool because they are all um, like steam centered for the kids. It basically means science, technology, engineering, art, and math. So mama can feel guilt free um, after school. They can do a little craft, they can be busy, and I, they're not watching TV and I feel good about what they're doing. Bob out. They also have these called Panda Crates. These are for zero to 12 months and teaches the kids the same thing and can't leave the littles out. And this is so great. So it's like a subscription. They get one of these every month, which is so fun. It was really fun too, because when I was little, my mom used to, not every day, but every once in a while, surprise us with a little something at the end of our bed. So we'd come home from school and there'd be something on there. So I try to do that with the boys when they come home. And so this would be a fun surprise for them today. So it tells you all the things you can make, like this will keep her busy for a very long time, which is awesome. I got these for the boys also. Um, so I have a code here, um, arrows, for 30% off if you guys want to try these. I'm really excited for these. Cranking it out early over here in the terracotta room. Lynn is cleaning. Everybody liked our little boomerang yesterday. <laughs> um, I, as I was driving over here today, I passed a construction crew and the ladies at the end was smiling and waving to everybody and it gave me like these happy endorphins like it was so sweet to see somebody smiling and waving so i smiled and waved back at her and she just like lit up like nobody else had smiled and waved so just reminding me we need a little more smiling and waving in our lives okay let's see the terracotta room is coming along we got some open shelving going up got these at target uh they're not meant to hold a ton of time but really just to hold some really really pretty glasses introduce you to Ella. She is the newest member of the Arrows and Bow Crew. Yes. Meow, meow, meow. Gonna show her the ropes. Um, she is putting together the blush room right now and she's amazing, amazing already. Yeah, so love her. Okay, tell me this doesn't make you so, so happy. All you moms, dads, clean freaks like me, people just don't want sand anywhere. Oh, you're welcome. Okay, we've got the table set up in here. We've got our little coffee bar area set up. Um, look at the mugs from Muddy Heart. Those are so cute. Got our cafe appliance coffee makers and having a little coffee break right now from North Shore. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but they are yeah. going to be at the block party on October 3rd and they're making a drink, a custom drink, my favorite drink, oat milk latte, and it's going to be called Design to Last a Latte. Okay, so lots of local vendors will be there, like a cute plant girl, the coconut girl, food, family fun. Um, and then, a little surprise, I haven't shared this either, but I have some friends coming out. Some amazing people that you may know from Instagram. So we have like a trial run for our first week. So we got Britt Horton coming, Krista Horton, we have Patty Cake Wagner, we got Sarah Litt and her family. It is gonna be so much fun. And for the second part of the trip, we have Carly Jean coming. We've got my amazing managers, and for the home, Christine is coming with her husband, and Brie Purpose with her husband, and it's gonna be a party. I cannot wait. And while they're all here, we have like fun prizes we're gonna be giving away every day, so why are Lynn and I sitting here not getting ready because it's like in two weeks? Let me look at my fake watch. In like two weeks, we open? Uh -huh. We should get up. Okay, I think the sunroom. It calls me in the light, in the side of the sea. Snitch calls me. It's just so happy.
room is looking like a real room too. Got some things put together. Tables are up and look so good in here. Kitchens being put together. Oh my gosh. This is Lynn's favorite room. Very soothing room. And then look at this, uh, the view from out here. We got the whole down there. Look at that slatty wall right there in that pool. Oh, it's a beautiful thing. This is actually an amazing room when the pool's filled. Pool tile is all in, all set. Wow, this is a crazy process. Awesome. So they're going to get ready to pebble tech this bad boy I think tomorrow. waiting to pick up the boys right now from school and I really miss Bob today. I haven't been around her at all. I just fed her once, well this morning and then at one and then I'll go back and feed her and be with her for the rest of the day. But it really makes me actually now thankful that she woke me up at four in the morning so we could hang out together because it's been just so busy. I hate it. Tomorrow I'm bringing her with me. She's coming to work again with me. I don't like being this busy. Busy is not mean good <laughs> busy is a means to an end this is not a lifestyle that i would pick all the time let me tell you i like organized chaos i do like chaos but organized and not this busy he has some of his bible college buddies coming out for the next few days they arrive later tonight and over the next few days do you guys remember gompers when we brought him in in and out from california flew all the way to south carolina and he ate the in and out burger he's coming Daddy. Hey. Hey. Hey, you. Dada. <laughs>